it's Bonnie. Welcome to the Bonnie Live where life happens. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so it is, I don't know, it's like 2.30 a.m. And I've got you zoomed in real close here because I'm going to do a get ready with me while I chit chat. Because i got quite a few things to talk about. And I am i can't sleep. So I'm going to start by putting this on my head. And thank you to those of you who told me I could super glue my partial in. Because it did. I didn't, I didn't super glue it to my mouth. But yeah, where it broke, I just super glued it. It's just a temporary anyway. Tuesday, I go in for um, to get a crown replaced. Oh, this is tight. Um, Tuesday, I'm going in for a crown replacement. Not a crown, to get a crown, not a crown replacement. So, as you can see on my bottoms here, I have one neck here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I, I only have one left that has a silver crown or a silver filling. And I'm bummed because we were going to bleach and then replace this crown. Oh, Lord, y'all. Have you ever had the bleaching done? Mm -mm. So here's what I've been using. Olaplex. This is from my dentist. It's 20%. <sighs> <laughs> uh, I, I used it for three days and then I, I, I was like ready to throw it in the trash. And I had these um, he made trays for them. And they just, you just put a little doll up in each one. I can't even tell down. Yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, but I quit. Oh my gosh. So I looked it up to see what was happening because I felt like someone was taking a taser and putting it to my teeth, especially this tooth here and this tooth here, which this is my only natural tooth in the front. Uh, the rest of these have direct composite, but they matched them to the yellow of my natural tooth, which is just gross. And my teeth don't look as bad on camera as they do as yellow. I mean, they're yellow, yellow. In natural light, it's just awful, and I, I hate it. So I'm hoping, because I quit. This is all I used. The first time I accidentally used a whole tube, and they look like this. If you guys have never had your teeth professionally bleached, I do not recommend it. Not not everybody is sensitive to this, but oh my gosh, I thought I was dying. Um, so, you look like a, a drug user. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you just are a diabetic. I, I don't know why you would have syringes, but it's not really a needle. It just it looks sharp like one. They come in different flavors, and so, yeah, you just put a little dollop on the tray and put it in your mouth, and you wear it. You can sleep in it or whatever, but I was only doing it for like 30 minutes, but holy moly, it hurt. Uh, it didn't hurt until day three, and then I started getting those zaps, and oh god, they lasted like three minutes, so I look it up, and I was reading about zingers that people get when they bleach their teeth, but they only last like a couple of seconds maybe 30 seconds at the most and mine were like I was dropping to my knees and my sister was here and she's like what are you doing why are you putting yourself through that so what I'm hoping for is that my dentist is just going to uh, that we're gonna pick a shade to to put that crown on whatever color we choose and then he'll just do, he'll redo the direct composites and give me a new crown that matches all of my new lighter, whiter composites. Because this, what we had planned, was just not going to cut it. But the cost, you know, I was like, okay, so it's just a couple, it was like $250 to do the bleaching. And I thought, okay, to get a whiter smile, after all I've paid for everything else, I'll do that. Since I put it all on my credit card anyway. And now, I have no idea what it's going to cost, but I am done. I'm done with having yellow teeth. I'm done with not feeling confident enough to go out. I mean, not that anybody cares, and not that I even really care. It's just, you know, you deal with something that you're self-conscious about your whole life, and then you have an opportunity to change it, and I'm going to grasp that opportunity because I, I have made so many vlogging videos where I'm outside, and I won't post them because the lighting just makes my teeth look gross. 
and it's just something, you know, we all have those hang-ups, and that's one of mine, so I'm going to get my makeup out. I'm going to try some new techniques that I learned. Oh, gosh, another thing I'm loving is the nails, the, um, the gel nails, and somebody had asked me where I got my light. For Mother's Day, I'd asked for one for Mother's Day, and Dennis was going to get me one, and when we went to Walmart across the street, there was a... Uh, uh, Salvation Army and I'm just walking around Salvation Army I wanted to go in there first just to look around and what did they have? A light so yeah I just I cook them in there and cure them so, but I don't know if it's a UV or LED so I just do the and it has automatic timers on there so people have asked me to demonstrate how I do it and I think they may be wanting to know how I do the poly gel which is to lengthen them these are my naturals. They just keep growing because they're protected with this. And I use alcohol to wipe them. But these are the brands I'm using. I have, oh gosh, IBCCNDG <laughs> base, base coat. And they're it's not supposed to be peel-offs, but they peel right off for me. Once they grow out a little bit, they'll start to raise up and you just get a hold of it and it peels right off but it stay this is this is a week over a week you could tell by how it's grown out the cuticle but look I'm never doing dishes cleaning and there's there's nothing there's no breakage or no chipping so I'm using the LULAA brand these came from Jim and AliExpress this is the top coat of the the base coat and you do have to use the top coat and base coat. So I do top coat, bake it for two minutes under the light. Then I do my color, bake it for two minutes, another coat if I want, another two minutes. And then I do three minutes with my top coat on. I let that cure for two minutes. So it takes me, but it goes fast. And you can, if you mess up, it's just so easy to correct. And it doesn't leave streaky lines. I just love this stuff. So those, I got those. And this other brand, the Gusserve, I don't know, maybe you can see that. Um, and they just have heaps of colors, and CND is another base coat and top coat that I have. And I've ordered a bunch more colors because I just absolutely love it. And then these are the poly gels, and um, I haven't had to lengthen my nails, so when I do, I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just... <laughs> I'm just keeping it all in my little flower bucket right now. That's my my nail collection, <clears throat> my polish collection. So, how is everybody? I know oh, my prayers and my heart is really going out to Angel at Laval's and Unicorns. Um, she lost her mother, and it's her first major loss. So, if everybody could, if you're not already, because I know so many of you that are subscribed to me or subscribed to her, please uh, send up a prayer, and she has a GoFundMe, so if you want to go to her page and s support her so that she can get back home, her family, her mother who passed away, and her family lives in Guyana, I think, and uh, gosh, her last video just broke my heart to watch her suffer like that, and I know that suffering, um... You know, when your first loss of someone close to you as a parent is so hard. And for me, it was my dad, and, and I remember it. And when I watched her video, it just it just took me back in time, and I just wanted to reach there and hug her. So if you happen to be watching, which I know you're not, Angel, I know you have other things going on, but um, I'm thinking of you, and my condolences from my family to you and your family. And um, I'm so sorry for such a great loss. It's... It's, it's heartbreaking. Um, it's terrible. And I hope that you're able to raise the funds to get to get home because I know how important that is. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm going to start by putting some Visine in my eyes because I've had allergies like crazy. So coming up, I have... Um, I'm reviewing a new website for shopping online. It's not Joom or Wish Cheap. It's uh, the prices are more practical, but the products are more um, 
mainstream, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about shoddy workmanship or anything like that. Plus, it's free shipping, and the prices are still lower than you would get. You know, you get the same quality products you would get at, at Walmart or Kmart or something. This I really burned over here. Let me try a little bit more. Um... So, yeah, I think it's an awesome site, and uh, I'll have a video coming out in the next day or two about all that. It was fun. That was a fun shopping experience and fun playing with the stuff I got. So I'm going to start with this um, Delia Organics Uplift Facial Mist. I'm trying all kinds of new stuff. This, I believe, came in the Bombay and Cedar uh, package when I was doing the Bombay and Cedar Halls. I'm a little, it's a little edgy about it. Just do it. Mmm. That feels good. Oh, it smells delicious. Yummy. Mmm. I like that. It's like there's some... I'm waking up now in the middle of the night. Get my groove on. Okay. Um, so, I was watching some beauty gurus, which, if you can get around the gossip that's going on, good grief. That, that, those channels are a little bit crazy for me right now at this moment. I'm going to start with the foundation. But, I have seen some tips and tricks, and I'm going to try to use them, because I don't feel like I could get a full enough foundation cover, a full enough coverage, which they say you shouldn't when you're older. I've already moisturized, and I just used Equate Oil-Free Moisturizer. Cheap. Cheap. I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't worry about that. But the trick to what I'm going to try to do to get a better coverage is to do some mixing and I'm also going to try I need my beauty blender okay I'm going to try I'm going to try uh, this which is just by Wet n Wild it's Photo Focus Face Primer Dewy Lumineux because even if I get a, I don't like a matte finish at my age. I, I want to have some fresh skin. Hating this hair color, by the way. Hoping this weekend I'm going to have something done about that. Um, my gray is trying to come back through whatever I did with it. Look at that. It's like orange and gray and it just really got wonky. So, um, I'm, maybe I'll do a video on how I'm going to fix that because that's a hot mess that I'm going to have to go through. So I'm just getting a little bit on my hands and I'm just going to put it on like a moisturizer. It really has a good glow to it. Oh, my face feels fresh already. I'm just going to pretend that's a primer. I don't know if it is. Is it a primer? Yeah, it's a face primer. Okay. See how shiny my face is already? It's almost like it's um greasy, but it's just a primer, so I would like to have it full coverage and do it because Matt and me do not get along. No offense, Matt, whoever you are. I've got a gazillion projects going on. And I think I'm overwhelming myself because I'm still working with my dental stuff. And I've been really depressed. I haven't not wanted to get off the couch. Haven't wanted to take a shower. Haven't wanted to brush my hair. I mean, really, really in a funk. And uh, at the same time I'm going through all that, I'm, I've got all these arrangements and plans going on and stuff. And I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh... Dennis and I have been talking about doing a home renovation project, and I am in the midst of that, which I don't need to be in right now. So I may cancel. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to take this e.l.f. High Def Powder. It's just a loose powder. And I'm going to pour some on the palm of my hand. Oh! Okay. <coughs> 
Can you see it floating up? This thing's going to pop right off my head because I do not have a bump in the back of my head like normal human beings. Let me just put my glasses up there to hold my hair back. Let's try that. At least it's out of my... Ugh. Okay, so... Ooh, that's a lot. So I just put some powder on my hand a lot. And I'm going to use Simply Ageless uh, Cover Curl. It's, I'm almost out of that. <laughs> It's really, you see the bottom's almost empty. I'm going to put a couple of squirts. Oh, what am I doing? I need a little stirrer. She's the bottom of a makeup thing to stir it in. Oh, whoa. That made dough. That's not makeup, that's dough. That's okay, I'll put a couple more squirts. This is just something somebody brought up, so I'm going to try it. Okay, I need to blow off some of this. Because <laughs> look, I made a ball of dough. That's not how it's done, I'm sure. Okay. Come on, mix. Oh, that is thick. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to use this to kind of bugger it on. Oh, I should just do one side. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just playing with some ideas. This is... I can't believe I'm putting that on my face. Like, talk about pancake face. My pancake batter is thinner than this. Oh my, okay, let's see what happens. Let me try to... Oh, come on, oh my. Oh, it's more full coverage, that's for sure. I'm sorry, I'm having to look over here to my mirror. Let me move my mirror over. Wow, it covered that. I had a little red spot there. It covered that. I also had my camera off the tripod because I was filming some other stuff outdoors. And, oh my gosh, my screen, my lens was horrible dirty. So, I don't, I'm afraid of how clear it'll be now. <laughs> the dirt might have made a little blur effect. Give me a little wrinkle coverage. Wow. This made a big difference. I don't know how long it'll wear. I was going to use a brush, but I decided to go with this just because I haven't cleaned my brushes. <laughs> if I don't care to brush my hair, surely I'm not going to care to do my... Oh my, this stuff is drying quick. I have no idea because this light is not the best. Did it look yellow going on? I couldn't tell. This light is so bright. Wowzer. Woo! <laughs> That's gross. I should get one of those microscopic cameras to see what it looks like on my face up close. Probably really, really gross. I'm going to use that as a primer on my eyes, too. I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. I could have if I wasn't agoraphobic and I had somewhere to go. One of my friends is DJing at a local bar. It's just not my cup of tea and um, my social anxiety would be like, look, get home. I don't know what you think you're doing. But I could have had a place to go. Okay. 
just gonna move a little bit down my neck. That's a lot more full coverage. Okay, now what do I do with all that? Do I save it? For what? It just when I was getting low and I get all carried away with this. Okay, so that works. This is a sheer base. This is a sheer base uh, foundation. And I just mixed it with some high def powder with no color. And I wasted all of that. It looks like I just picked up some dog mess. It's like Christmas, but dog mess. Don't listen to me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta clean that off too. Yuck. Okay. Moving along. Am I still in the right box? Okay, now what? I think I should go in for the eyes. Yes. That looks yellow, orangish now. I think I need to change colors. <sighs> I'm going to use... Gotta dig down to the bottom. I don't even have anything out. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Palette 3. Oh, it's going to be hard to choose. I'm just going to go ahead and use the brush that's in here. Let's see. I think I'm going to start with this. I can't read any of the colors, but I'm going to start right here with this color on my, uh, on my upper brow. Oh, how can I do that when I haven't done my eyebrows? What? Oh, I got that new. Let me see if I can try that. Yeah, I got all kinds of new things to try. I had an eyebrow, little eyebrow palette. If I can open it. Yeah, it has the taupe. Remember I had that? So I'm going to try that center one. And just use the little thing that came with it because my eyebrows are insane. Now somebody did tell me that you can comb your eyebrows down to find to find where they go. So you can draw your line. But do I have do I have my spoolie? I need my little brushes. Spoolie, spoolie, here you are. Okay, let me brush them down. They're so light, that doesn't help a thing. Well, I'll follow it and see what happens. It's about trying new stuff. So I'm just going to go on the top. Oh, it's so I forgot how dark it is. Okay, so I'm just following the normal contour of my brow when it's all brushed down. And apparently that's how that brow goes. Let's try this one. Whoops, I'm not, I gotta go up. Hey, there's actually an arch in there. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> okay, so after I do that little debacle, I guess I wriggle them back up normal. And then I have to bring them out because I have sh I have plucked them too far away for too many years. 
So yeah, I just had... I think I'm overwhelming myself, and that's why I'm getting depressed, because nothing's getting accomplished. Like, I'm over the C. diff. Thank God. So, I think that was partially what brought me down. You know, I was sick for so long, and thinking there was no escape. You know, like I was never going to get out of that, but I did. Thank goodness. And that is some heavy brow. Uh, and then I started getting like migraines and it's like, come on. And I kept wanting to make videos, but I just, I had no effort. What am I doing to my eyes? I had no oomph, you know? No get up and go. It's like I had all these plans and things I wanted to do. I have I have a booklet that is just full of videos I want to make. And I had no, no, no way, no how, no kind of energy. Like all I could do is sleep. Even on the days when my sister was here, and she doesn't show up until... Um, about nine o'clock, and she leaves out of here at two, and I would just leave her a note and say, "Could you just handle this stuff for me because I'm gonna be asleep." I need a drink. Cheers if you're having a drink with me. Friday night at 2.30, you know, and you're sitting up talking to a camera that you've gotten old, putting on your makeup to go absolutely nowhere. Well, I don't know what good that did, because I feel like I put it on just to take it off. But okay, I'm going to roll with it. Okay, well, I'm glad I found my spoolie anyway. So, back we go. I'm going to go with this. Let me see. It is called Strange. I'm going to go on with the strain because, like, my makeup isn't strange anyway. I'm going to go on with that color, which is strange. And I'm just kind of hitting my brow bone all the way over. Um... What do I want to do next? I've been learning tricks about raising the eyes up. And, you know, I may follow those hints. Hang on, I'm going to get a little flat brush. I'm getting this brush. I do not know anything about brushes, so if you want to know numbers or whatever, you're, you're at the wrong place. I'm sorry. I am going to go under with a dark color and this one is called dark side I'm going to the dark side they have cookies and I love cookies so I'm going all the way over here not to the very end but the one next to the end I'm just dab some on and I'm gonna go right under that lash line almost to the uh, almost to the tear duct but not quite this is kind of a thick flat brush I thought it would be thinner than this dark side come to the dark side so what I was told was that you want to take that and because that eye is going to go up. Who was it? Was it? It was a Wayne, an old Wayne Goss video, I believe. One of his old, old ones. I love when he does videos for mature women. And he said to go under and follow that line up. And that will tell you where to stop. 
because that goes up instead of following this one down because I don't want to have droopy eyes. I want it to lift up that way. And it looks like it's already working, doesn't it? Although I did have a stroke, so one of my eyes is kind of wonky anyway. So... I'm not going for a particular look. I'm just trying new things. My mom always swore that if you just fixed yourself up a little bit and tried to look better, you would feel better. That's been hard for me to do when I've been running around with my without my teeth. You know, you just... You have no desire to try. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go over, close your eyes, check it, go over any ijigoobers, wrinkles, whatever you want to call them. Eyes open, eyes closed, I don't know. Am I doing it? I have no clue. Does it look like I'm doing it? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to say, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that same color and I'm going to go along my lash line and just kind of run it through my lashes and right above it. This is not a normal technique, I don't think. I, I don't normally line my eyes. I gotta bring this up a little bit. I can't see. Hmm. So I was like bored and on Facebook, and there was this little site app that said see what, uh, upload a picture to see what nationality you look like most. Everyone I did kept saying I looked 82% Greek. Every picture I uploaded of myself said I look Greek. I'm not Greek. I'm Scandinavian. I'm actually, mo I'm 99 point, I had my DNA done, so I'm 99.8% uh, European. And that is broken up with the majority being Scandinavian, next followed by Irish, followed by Scandinavian, Irish, and uh, I want to say Swede, uh, somewhere around there. That was just a little bit though. So the majority of it was Scandinavian. And that's not at all what I expected. I thought I was Native American. <laughs> I thought I was at least a quarter. Okay, I'm going to switch my battery real quick and I will be right back. Okay, I think I have you zoomed back in. I had to change my battery, I'm sorry. Um... no burps. Sorry, nothing there. Still trying to figure out this eye stuff because I'm trying to learn how to wear makeup. So I think I'm just going to take a fluffy brush if I can find one. I've got a bunch over here and then I've got some in here. Some here and there and everywhere. Oh, somebody mentioned a pencil brush. I think that's what this is. And then I've got a fluffy brush here. So let's try the fluffy brush first. And I'm going to go all over my lid with, um, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go all over my lid with this uh, limit. This one right here. Can you see it? I can't tell. Can you see that one right there? 
<laughs> Look at those glasses up there. So that's kind of the same color as my lid. You know, I've noticed a lot of people are lucky. They're, they naturally look like they're wearing um, eyeshadow. My best friend is one of them. When she was in the hospital, it, it, I'd go see her or somebody would send me pictures. I'd be like, who did your makeup? You have makeup on. And they would tell me she doesn't have any makeup on. She's just, she had a naturally darkened uh, eyelid. Especially this, is that called the movable lid? Especially that part. Okay, I dig that. That's just kind of a natural color with a natural look. Not going for anything too flashy, smashy here. And I'm going to go with something lighter on the inside. So I'm going to go back. Where would I, what do I want to put there? I think I'm going to go with this. It's a little shimmer. This one is called. Um, dust right here. I'm gonna go on with this dust. This one right, right there. It's hard to turn that around. My hand doesn't want to twist. And I'm just gonna put that one in the corner, just to give a little shimmer. And I'm gonna bring it on out a little bit closer to my nose. I didn't do any contouring. Still learning about that. I'm, I'm not sure I'm a fan of contouring. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. But then I'm going to go with uh, my pointy pencil brush and go with. I'm just going to try all kinds of colors. Nooner. I'm going to go with a nooner. That's this color right here. Nooner. a matte. So, so far these have all been mattes. I'm just going to go in my, um, under my brow bone. I saw a young person trying to teach some techniques and she was using her finger and other things and pulling them around and, you know, her eyes stand and she, I was like, honey, people our age, when you get older, like in our fifties and stuff, you pull like that and your eyes just gonna stay there because it's just creepy. It's oh to have youthful eyes again. And you know when I was young I didn't give two hoots about makeup. I wore it, but it didn't mean a thing to me. I'm gonna do my little V with that down here. Because I have no clue what I'm doing, so I can't screw up. It's never too late to learn, and that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to be a pro, I just want to be able to put my own makeup on and, and do it. Y'all please, please send good vibes that my dentist is going to be able to help me out. Um, I was so disappointed that the bleach failed. I really wanted a white smile. I know that's a very, very first world problem, but it's something I've wanted my whole, whole life. I'm going to use this fluffy brush just to blend what I've done. I mean, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't happen. It's just it would give me a real boost of confidence and I don't know there's things I want to do in life you, you know I hate being agoraphobic I hate having panic disorder because I feel like you know at this point in my life I'm too I'm too sick to work but I'm too healthy to die so I really, I'm in this limbo and there's things I want to do. There's things I want to achieve. And I don't, I just, I think it just keeps standing in my way. I can't get past it. Even things, opportunities on YouTube. 
you know, there was an opportunity presented to me recently, and I'm like, no, it was an everyday thing. And I'm like, I can't. I can't do that. I can't commit myself to do something every day. Like I just said, I've been, I've spent all this time on the couch not even wanting to brush my hair. And it was a, a an offer for, to do some, review some products and for sponsorships. It wouldn't have been on YouTube. It's a, It would be on its own platform. <sighs> but that's not what I want to do anyway. You know, that's... I don't really want to spend my time. I review things and buy things because I, I shop online anyway, so it makes sense. But I don't know. I've always wanted to be in a play. I even auditioned once when I was fairly healthy, uh, mentally healthy. My agoraphobia was under control. My hands are dry. Um, my agoraphobia was under control with medication, which no longer works. And me and my mother-in-law both auditioned. And I almost had the part. I almost had the part. And everybody that was there, there was a lot of people there at this theater uh, auditioning. And I was, I, was, I was auditioning for the lead role. And I seemed to fit the character perfectly. She was quirky and blonde and funny and... and and when I did the readings, I just, I felt, I just fell in character. And my mother-in-law had said she always wanted to, to be in a, a play, too. So she, uh, she went and did the role, she read for the role of my mother. And they kept calling me back up, you know. They kept recalling me and recalling me to read again and again and again. And we took a break, and everybody was outside in the lobby, and the actors and the actresses were all saying, "You've got you. You're a shoe in for this part. You've got this part." And she's like, "I think I have this part." And everybody was so sure uh, that I was going to get that part. And at the last minute, like we had ten minutes left, this girl came running in, and she was in costume for the character. Which, you know, she had pigtails and these glasses on. I was just like, I, I knew as soon as she came running in, I was done. I was toast, and I wished I had read for other roles, you know, and not focused so hard on that role, but who was I, how was I to know, and I don't know that I would have gotten one of the other roles anyway, but, yeah, we, they told us that we'd hear from them, and they asked us to come back, I, I got a letter, and they said that they, the roles were all filled, and it was the girl, the girl that got the lead role was the one that came marching in. Could I even remember my parts? I doubt it. I've never done anything like that. It's just something I've always wanted to do, but I've always felt that this would hold me back. But, you know, maybe not. It's a different world today. Um, plus, they have big lights, too, you know, at the theater, so they may not have even noticed my teeth. But it was a comedy. Doggone it. It just... I wish. I wish I could have did it. I think that's all I'm going to do to the eyes for now. Except for... A little black... Tight lining. In the corners. And on this very edge outside getting hot in here. Oh, these lights. I don't know, y'all. I don't think it's anything I could have ever done, but I think it's good to have dreams and ambitions and, and I lost all of that, you know, and you get an illness, a mental illness that takes you away from your career and everything you've ever known and everything you've ever accomplished and you just feel like you're never going to get an opportunity again. It's hard to stay out of a depressed state and be in a good frame of mind. Okay, I'm hoping 
that I have succeeded in turning my eyes up a bit. Yay, nay. What do you think of the foundation? Putting that dewy on under and then this? I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. Um, mascara. I know my eyebrows are driving me bonky though. Bonky? Bonkers. My wonky eyebrows are driving me bonkers. Speak English, Bonnie. I have made a hot mess over here. I feel like this side looks better than this one. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. Ooh, a ghost. I'm just going to use some... Um, what is that? Maybelline that makes this? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I made the Lean Great Lash, the good old standby from the 70s. They still make it. Who'd have thunk? So what dreams do you have? That you, Have you fulfilled all of your dreams? Or do you still have dreams that you want to fulfill? Especially if you're my age or above. Do you feel like you've wasted any of your time or do you feel like it's been well lived are there things you wish you could do that you haven't been able to do and I wonder for those of us who feel like that if we can I wonder if we can do something there's so many things you know like I'm like I think maybe I could cure myself if I went to I went somewhere and just stayed in a tent by myself overnight with no cell phone. I would have like 17,000 panic attacks and think I was dying and try to walk to an emergency room probably. But if I survived it, would it cure me? Probably not. But I will have felt like I accomplished something. Speaking of camping, that makes me think of the lake. <laughs> Oh, you guys, my luck, my luck, my luck. My okay, so if you're not aware, Den in on Dennis's birthday, I bought him a, a boat so that he could go to this lake that I'm okay with. It's where I spread the ashes of my best friend who passed away last year and uh planted her tree, her memorial tree. And I got him the boat, and I'm like, we can actually spend time there. As long as Dennis is with me, I can be on that lake and be okay. Well, not two months after I get him the boat, they decide to drain the lake. And my friend's ashes are in it. My best friend's ashes are in the lake. So there's no boat. There's no way to get out there on the boat. Her ashes are gone, so we went up to check on her tree. It was dead as a doornail. So he he leaned over to comfort me when I saw her dead tree, and he's like, honey, we'll replant it. And I was like, no. For those of you who don't know, her nickname was Gypsy Chick, and I said, she's a gypsy. She wanted out. So off she went with the draining of the lake through the tributaries and rivers into the ocean. And she, her tree, she was like, later days, leave the tree behind, I'm out. Um, in fact, on her cremation box, that I just saved a few, little bit of her ashes and some trinkets of hers and stuff. Um, I, I made it, and on the, there's a little coin thing that's called the Wanderer, and it has a little saying about being a wanderer, but that's what she was. So I was okay with it. I'm like, well... That was very fitting of her because she didn't like to stay in one place for long. So putting her in a lake was like, uh-uh. She was getting out of there. And the tree, nope. Maybe there'll be some offshoots from, it was an oak tree. So it did live through a full season. So maybe it would have dropped some 
little acorns and a new tree will grow. But it died so suddenly. And then Dennis was parking the boat and <laughs> it, it was going downhill and it took off rolling and the whole motor ran into the garage and broke the road or some of the rotors off. So it's like, okay, so we're not destined to hang out at the lake this year, and we have not. Just one time, I think. But it's not total, I mean, it wasn't a total loss. I'm not, I, I think it's kind of funny because it's so Lucille Ball, so much, it's just too much bad luck to be taken seriously. It certainly can't be karma. I don't think I've done anything bad. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that. Now I'm going to line my lips and put on some lipstick. I think. No, I'm going to spray my face. Let me let my eyelashes. Oh, I've got hair hanging off of me. Oh, I don't have any blush. Um... Ooh, okay, since I'm trying new stuff. Whoa. This is a NYX powder blush, and the color is Rose Garden. Oh! Let me open that up so you can see it. That's bright. That's bright. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. I'm scared. Ooh, look at how bright it is on my brush. Oh my, that is bright. <gasps> oh! I'm not going to put it where I normally put it. I normally put it up higher. I'm going to go low. <laughs> and I'm going all the way up to my temple and down. And then back up. Doing a little triangle right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to spray my face. I'm using NYX Dewy Finish. Well, I'm going all dewy, dewy. The Dewy Decimal System. Oh, I'm reading a book. I wish I could remember the name of it. My daughter, my daughter's a librarian. She would kick my butt for not knowing the name of this book. I cannot keep up with her though. She reads, and my grandkids too. Oh my gosh. They're all, they read so many books. Um, but I get bored, you know, but they'll read it all the way through. Like, what did my grandson just finish reading? Like a 10 volume. My, the first book my daughter ever read, she was seven and she read every series in the Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, all of them. <laughs> Crazy. And my grandsons are the same way. Me. I just started this one, and I'm afraid it's going to be scary, and I don't like scary books, but I don't know where it's going. It doesn't tell me, and I'm afraid to look it up. I feel like I didn't get this side. Uh, almost done. Packing up. I need lipstick, though. That's in here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I wanted to do this, too, because... I'm trying to do all kinds of different things. So this is pop feel, and uh, I just don't know how to do it. When you got wrinkles, they say don't do it, but I'm gonna do it. What am I doing, you guys? I can never go straight down my nose. Because it's so crooked. I've had my nose broken twice, so it just wants to go. It's a whole nother story time. Where else does that go? I don't remember.
Oh, it really did accentuate those wrinkles. Oh, I forgot the nose. <laughs> How am I doing? I, I, how are you doing? Forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. I've had that in my head all day. Oh, you know what else I forgot? As long as we're going Dewey, this is uh, number 01 in, um, oh gosh, it's a shimmer stick, but I can't see the name of it. Maybe you can if I roll it around enough. Oh, stop that. I'm just going to put it right there, give myself a little Jeffree Starness without using his products. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Star. Just give me a little glow right there. I'm going dewy glowy. So I'm trying everything. Now I just need a lipstick. I have no idea what color to go with. Huh. I know I should outline it first. Sorry, I'm, d I'm, I'm buried deep into this. Ooh, I've got a gloss. That's not it. Oh, I want to try a gloss. Um, I want pink. I went with a lot of pinks. So I'm going to go with the Sephora Sweet Balm in... Hold on a minute. In, I still can't read it. How bad is that? My vision. Come on. Sweet Violet. This was a gift from one of y'all. Oh, and there it pops out. I was going to align my lips, but I'm not going to. Change my mind. I don't think I like that on with this. Let me try a different color. <laughs> I'm digging through here like a little possum in a garbage can. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, I'll try this. This is NYX High Voltage Lipstick in, um, oh my gosh, why does everything, it's ML, MLS05. Let's try that instead. It's more of a nude, left pink. One of these days I'm also going to try false lashes because why not? Yeah, I'm digging this. I like that color much better. I'll put a little gloss. A little bit. I think I'm done, guys. I don't know. I think I could use, and I think I might just real quick, a little bit of light right here. There you go. Open that up. Yeah, I like that. Just brightened my eye a little bit. 
eyes were feeling kind of dull. And I'll bring that on around in here. Oh, I didn't tap it off. And there's my finished look without my hair done, but Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. That was fun. I don't get to do much. <laughs> I don't have a life. Take care of yourselves. Um, maybe I'll find something to do today, later in the day. Um, I'm going to go wash this off now and go to sleep. That was totally not worth it, was it? But at least I got to chat with you guys and play with makeup so take care god bless you guys and i will be back soon thanks and uh i've missed you guys love you bye and to mama i miss you too bye <laughs>